Hey, it's Lena and I am in my bathroom because, you know, I don't even know why I do anything anymore. But I lost, ew, oh gross. I just wiped my lips with the makeup wipe and it tasted bad. Ugh. Anyways, I am doing this video for I don't know how many times. I lost my first one. I'm so distraught. So I'm doing a quick one right now because it's I'm getting sleepy. It's late. I need to get this video done and I need to post it so I can give it to the geek girls. But you should know they are if you follow me. But if you also, if you follow me, you should know what this is about. Because this is about Dragon Sworn Cosmetics. I found them doing an Etsy brows for God knows what. But I came across them and I saw that they had, what was the first thing that started? It was the Iron Bull eyeshadow. I was like, oh my goodness, a Dragon Age eyeshadow. It's makeup. It's my favorite video game series. I'm hooked. And they were only, I think they were $5, 5 or $6 for the shadows. Either way, I bought a few. She was kind enough to send me a couple extras to try out. And yeah, it's the beginning of a beautiful friendship. So now if you actually go on the website, you will see my eye, this one, I use this one because this one has a scar, as the swatches for the eyeshadows. So you will see my eye doing the swatches to give you a little bit. Um, where was I going? I don't even know. Anyways, I wanted to do a quick review and talk about the... Um, products that she sells since I love them and they're really affordable and I love that they're in that she's she's an indie brand and I love that because when you try to buy like more high-end makeup and you want to do makeup for a living even though I don't pursue it as a career I do enjoy makeup I do enjoy doing other people's makeup um, and when you get into high-end makeup or even like higher-end indie brands, like more known indie brands, there gets a lot of drama, so it gets a little bit of a nuisance. So this, she lives close to me, which is amazing, and yeah, she's just an amazing person, and all of her products are handmade, they're hand-poured, hand-stirred, hand-pressed, they're all natural, they're just beautiful. So I figured I would show you a couple of them. I don't, I have an entire box of eyeshadow here that I'm working on swatches for. So, so I don't want to do all of them. But you will, if you are here through the Geek Girls, it doesn't matter. You've already seen them. But I will have an article up with a better, more, a slightly more in-depth review of them with more swatches. You'll see my swatches. My nail swatches aren't the best. So I might add hers too, just because mine aren't that good. I'm not good at eye swatches, or nail swatches. I'm good at like eye swatches. The lip swatches are really hard to do because they're a sheer gloss with a tint of color. They're really nice glosses and they're not really gloss like they feel more like a lip oil. They're very moisturizing. They're not sticky. They smell like chocolate for some reason and I just love them because I don't like gloss. But I love these because they're moisturizing and they're really good to put over a liquid lipstick to add a little bit of a sheen or an extra like hint of color. I'll put one on right now. Let's see. I'll put on Morgan. This one's one of my favorites. If you look, it just adds like a little bit of a, a color. It's This one's a little bit my lip color but better. But they're very, they're very, they're just so pretty. They smell good. They taste good. I love them. I'll show you this one. This one's my other favorite. And this one's a little bit more pigmented. I like wearing this over stuff because it gives it like a golden sheen. The one, I, This one is Morgan and this one is Isabella. Look how pretty that is. Sheer gloss. Beautiful color. They're great lip toppers if you have a liquid lipstick and you want to jazz it up a little bit. So let's talk about some nail polishes. I don't have them all of them here because I have them mixed throughout my makeup bags. But these, once again, all natural hand poured. If you go on her Instagram, she has videos of her mixing them and pouring them. Oh my god, they're so relaxing. They're so fun. But this one's called Morrigan. And there's another one that I don't have called The Morrigan. I have it in my other bag. And this one is Cole. This one's one of my favorites. Oh, it's so pretty. They, they're they very... You could almost get away with one coat with them. Just put one coat and top coat on and they're, they're almost perfect. Two coats... Seals the deal. Amazing. Um, once again, oh, eyeshadows. This is one I have the most of. I have, I love them all. They're beautiful. 
they're really good if you don't like to do a lot of like complex eye looks these are perfect to just do one color and just go throughout your day I've been doing that so I could do the swatches and just do my makeup at the same time but I would wear them like that anyways let's show you a couple of my favorites this one is dance from fallout dance paladin dance and this one is just it's like a beautiful rusty it looks like a rusted um power power armor that's the word I've been playing that one lately but let's see hold on they don't finger swatch well for some reason on me there we go they're a lot more intense once you put a, a, a primer on and everything oh my gosh they're so good what's another one of my favorite ones oh let me show you iron bowl and it's a beautiful gray color. Do I have it in here or did I put it in my makeup bag? Some of these are in my actual makeup bag. Here it is. This one's Iron Bowl. And if you can tell, it has like little pink speckles. It's like, what is it? Dawnstone? I think it's Dawnstone. You know, because it's pink. It's a great color. It's pink. But if you don't know the reference of the pink glitter, it's because it's pretty. And it's, it's a conversation between him and... um. Black wall, and like I said, these aren't the best for finger swatching, but eye swatching they go beautiful. There we go. There's a good swatch for you. Look at that glitter. Anyway, so there's a conversation between Black Wall and Iron Bull talking about what their favorite sword would be made out, of, and Iron Bull is talking. Just, just Google it. I don't want this video to be too long and we go in depth. One more. One more. Let's see. So let's see, maybe Widowmaker. Widowmaker's really pretty. Oh, I love this one. Oh, it's so pretty. Let's see. You can't see the color that well. It's a very sheer color. There we go. Hold on. Let me get a good, good swatch going for you. They apply amazingly on your eye. Just me swatching them right now. I'm not, I'm not very awake to do. This. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. You can't see it that well. That one. That one is Widowmaker. It's beautiful purple with some red and what is it? Just red. Some red and blue reflex in it, I believe. Yeah. Either way, the shadows I believe are five or six dollars. The lip glosses are around that and I know the nail polishes for a full size are 10 but you get a lot oh my goodness and they're so pretty yeah so um these are I don't even these are just some of the best products ever like I could just go on and on about these because they're just if it wasn't just me rambling I probably would because they're so good like can you see that that one's cool and even some of the lighter shades that are just like a, a white pigment with like some reflex in it. Like, I, I, I can't get over them. They're so pretty. I love them. I will leave links below so you can get whatever. She just came out with body butters. I can't wait to get my hands on them. They sound amazing. I, hopefully, if she doesn't go to Impact, hopefully I could get her to go to, um... Marble City with me because I will be in Marble City soon so but anywho I hope you enjoyed this I hope this was somewhat information informative I don't know words I'm so sleepy I don't know why I'm doing this right now oh okay I'll start stop rambling thumbs up there will be swatches on the geek girl so look out for that I'll leave links below of everything that you could possibly need and until next time guys make sure to thumbs up subscribe comment all that good stuff and hopefully i'll see you soon